What's up, guys? I'm Antonio. Um, I'm in Mr. O'Brien's uh, third period taking manufacturing class. I'm going to be showing you how to solder this pigtail to basically make the whole wiring setup for one of these guys. And we're going to be using blue lights today. But this is going to be a tutorial how to make and put it inside one of these. And uh, basically how to learn how to solder for the first time. So the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your wire strippers. You're going to want to cut the ground wire or the negative wire in half about right there okay once you have it cut in half you obviously just can't solder that so you got to strip the wire about this far Cr uh, clasp it and then pull off the wire and then you have your exposed wire right here uh, twist it you just want to twist the wire so wires don't strand out on you. And then once you twist it, you can basically just go like this. Use the little holders that Mr. Doberman has. And then now you get your soldering iron. It's already heated up. I heat it up to about 600 degrees. You want to get your solder. And before you even start soldering, a good habit to have is always make sure the tip right here is clean. Use it right here. Dip it in here and clean the tip. So now you're going to put a little bit of solder on the tip. It gets the heat going faster. So there's the solder right there. And then you're gonna hold the soldering iron under the wire. So you hold it under the wire, let the wire heat up for about two, three seconds, and then feed solder into the wire. This process is probably the most important process in soldering. You're call, it's called tinning the wire, and it gets solder fed into the wire already. That way, when you go to solder a wire, it's already the solder's already in there, and it adheses better. So now that we have that done, now we're gonna solder on our uh, switch. It's gonna break connection when you shut it off. When you turn it on, it keeps the connection going. And that's how you get the LEDs to get light, uh, lit up. So it's gonna go like this. And basically we're gonna be soldering onto this tab right here, this top one. And we're gonna hold the iron under it and feed solder onto the top of it. Like this, we're gonna get our solder. Clean the tip off. Put the solder on it. Okay put it under the tab and feed a little solder onto the top. Okay. As you can see right here, we put some solder on the top of it right here. A little bit of solder on there. And this wire right here is going to go on top of it. It's going to go on top of it. And then we're going to, uh, I'll show you in a second, we're going to solder the piece of wire we cut off earlier. So don't get rid of that. I'm gonna solder that onto the other side of it, but then we'll get to that in a minute. So here we go. So here's how you're gonna solder this. So you're just gonna hold it. You can have a helping hand, but you just go like this. The wire's gonna be on top of this. So you're gonna go on top of it and then hold the iron under the tab right here. So put it on top first, get it where you wanna get it, and then put it under it and it'll heat up really fast because it's a really small connection. And then it's gonna, uh, you'll see it'll have some type of effect or it sucks onto it and then you're you're adhesed since you have your connection you're gonna want to hold it there for about five ten seconds and let it cool down you can blow on it for a quicker effect uh you kind of want to jiggle it a little bit and then when it stops moving that's when your connection's uh made so now we're done doing that we can undo this and now we're going to solder the other side so this is our connection first connection right here and we're going to solder the wire that we cut off earlier on this side right here Okay, so first step, this side of the wire, we got to strip it. Like that. Twist the wire, put in our little helping hands right here. Clean off the soldering iron. Like I said, make that a habit. It just helps out, makes life easier when you're soldering. And we're going to put a little solder on the tip right here and tin the wire. In my opinion, I think this is the most important part of soldering. If you do this correctly, everything else flows nice and smooth. Okay, we've tinned our wire. Now we're going to put a little bit of solder on the switch on the other side. This is the side we haven't done. Okay. Alright, got a little solder on there. 
now. Let's solder the wire on there. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't really matter which way you orient it, as long as it's uh, as long as it's kind of facing the same. Let's see. Okay, now we have it in the right position. We're going to solder it. Like I said, this one you can kind of tap the wire on the top and it'll ease right into the solder. Go like this. Okay, the wire's on and it's already cooled down. Okay, so, okay. And do it from the helping hands. And now we have our uh, switch plugged in. This will let us shut off the power to the LEDs. That way it's not always running. Flip it on and off. But this is our negative soldered in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get both ends of them. So you see like this. So we're going to uh, solder these onto the tip of the LED. Okay. And what we're going to solder it onto is right here so these little copper looking tabs there's a positive on this side negative on this side and what we're going to do is put a little solder on these and then solder the ends onto here okay so let's do that all right let's do this actually what i like doing is this is magnetic so i just lift this off put it flat on here and then just put this a little close to where you're gonna be soldering and then it holds it nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna say this is the trickiest part of this whole process. All you need is a little bit of solder and you don't wanna hold the iron onto the LED too long. The issue with that is if you hold the iron onto the LED too long, you'll basically melt the LEDs. Uh, not a big deal, you just get some more, but just be mindful of that. So put a little solder on here. This is, this is gonna help immensely by putting a little solder on here. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna tap the copper piece and we're gonna put a little solder on there. Okay, we've got a little solder on the positive side, a little solder on the negative side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap these wires in right here. First thing we need to do is uh, we need to tin these wires, they're already stripped. So let's just tin the wires real quick. Okay, let's put it into our little helping hands. Okay, let's feed a little solder into there. Okay, we got the positive side tinned. Do the negative side. Okay. Now, now we're gonna solder our negative and our positive onto the LED tabs right here that we put solder on earlier. Okay, so let's solder our positive side on first. Doesn't really matter which side you do it, but what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to hold it on there a little bit and then tap the wire onto the soldering piece right here. And it should go about right away. Okay, it is on there. Let it cool down, do a little tug test. Okay, it's on there. Do this side. Now we're gonna do this side. Uh, this side is the negative side. Like you said, just tap it. It'll he adhese right on there. Like so. Oops. All right, tug test. Okay, we're on there. Okay. All right, guys, that's basically it for the soldering aspect of it. Okay. Basically, we got this pigtail. This is where the 9 volt is going to plug into our battery right here. Okay, plugs into there. This is our switch that controls the power, and this is our LED. So let's show you a little example. I believe these lights are blue. Uh, plug it in right here, like this. Like this okay we have our power plugged in and now we're gonna turn it on and we got power so that's how you solder it and let's show you how you put it inside of one of these boxes we'll put it in this black one this part's pretty easy um, and earlier in the video I didn't or uh, I didn't show you in the video but basically you're gonna have one of these pieces and that's gonna go in, in this inside portion right here it'll just clip in there and you basically want to cut your LEDs to about that size about that size roughly and so the first thing you want to do is the LED is just a sticky piece of tape and you just want to peel the tape like so bear with me all right we got that piece peeled off and uh, stick it onto the acrylic 
If you want some better adhesion, what I would do is uh, ask Mr. Dobrens for some baby wipes or some rubbing alcohol and clean the piece of acrylic and it'll let it stick better. Should stick pretty good, just make sure you press down on it. Okay, now we have our whole setup right here. Uh, you wanna unplug the nine volt so you can fit it through the hole and right here so you get everything through. And so this is our light switch hole. We're just gonna put it through the light through right here. Like this. Okay, we have this through. And then we're gonna feed the little nine volt thing through like that. Okay, and then get all of our wiring pull it through so there's no wires exposed. And then pay attention to this. Okay, there's a little tab thing right here on the switch. That's gonna go where the little tab thing is on the on the acrylic light box. So that's why you made that part. So it clips in and it keeps it nice and solid. And now you're just gonna push it in. Should just clip in like that. And then our lights in there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is this just kind of uh, clips in with the tolerance right here. And so this is a little tricky if you have bigger hands. Now what you're gonna do is just go like this. Okay, and get it in right here. Okay. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's lined up right. Ah. All right, hold up, guys. Like I said, big hands, a little harder. Just gonna clip this in real quick. Okay, we have it clipped in there finally. Sorry, guys. Okay, it's clipped in there like that. That's how it's going to clip in. Okay, and you can see the LEDs peeking through the little slit right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the box. This is where this little, this is where the 9 volt sits, right in here. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our 9 volt, okay? Like this, okay? Push on the attachment. And then what I like to do is, since the switch is right here, put the 9 volt this side. So we're going to go like this. Clip in the 9 volt, like that. Okay, and we're just going to clip on our piece, like this. Sure, it fits in right. Like that, and that's it, guys. Okay, there's that, and you just got to make your acrylic piece, which Mr. Dobrens will help you and show you how to do. And then you put it in there, and we'll basically have this. This one's blue. Like I said, I can show you mine real quick. I decided to do red. I did a 49ers logo. It's my favorite football team, and that's what it'll look like at the end. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and learn how to solder. See ya.